today I am going to talk about the role of zoology and biomedical sciences. So my presentation will be having these uh, key contents. As we all know that zoology is the study of animals' life and it covers a wide range of research from the structure of animals to their subcellular unit of life. Zoology over the time has developed as an analytical and as a descriptive subject. Currently, zoology is considered as both a basic and as an applied science. Basic zoology is focused on extracting knowledge regarding animals without considering its direct application. However, applied zoology is more focused on gaining information that benefit humans and other animals. There are sub-disciplines of zoology and there are sub-disciplines to these sub-disciplines. For example, medical entomology to entomology. These subjects cover different aspects of zoology. For example, if we study fish, it's ichthyology. If we study insects, it's entomology. If we study the behavior, ecology, and evolution of social animals, it's sociobiology. Zoology is an interdisciplinary subject. Zoology has got an accommodating nature as well as an integrating nature. It can integrate into other subjects and it can accommodate other subjects as well. For example, biochemistry. In biochemistry, different principles and protocols are established, devised, and discovered in the lab. And then these protocols and these principles and procedures can be adopted in the field of zoology. Similarly, the knowledge coming from zoology can be integrated into these uh, fields. Similarly, in genetic engineering, recombinant technology or biotechnology, both where the knowledge from zoology and the knowledge from these fields can be integrated into zoology. For example, in genetic engineering, we transfer genes from one organism to another organism. For example, the transformation of bacteria into tiny factories for protein synthesis, where we transfer a gene from mammals to bacteria. So what does it do? It produces a hormones and interferon in a huge amount. And then these can be sold in the market. So it, it uplifts economy, economy of the industry, economy of a country. Similarly, zoology is linked with other biological sciences, for example, agriculture. Agriculture is focused on culturing plants and animals. If it comes to animals, for example, cattle farming, poultry farming, fish farming, then the knowledge coming from zoology is directly integrated into agriculture. However, some of the waste or byproducts of these farming sectors can be used as fertilizers in agriculture, which can boost the yield of plants and crops. Similarly, uh, zoology uh, is, is, is a, a integrating in food industry and nutrition industry. For example, uh, fish is used as a rich source of protein by humans and fish byproduct is used in animal feed. Similarly, fish liver oil is used as a rich source of vitamin A in nutraceutical industry. So zoology is linked to uh, a lot of like biological sciences. Similarly, it can uplift economy of a country, of a region by different other purposes. For example, using a fish as an ornamental uh, purpose or for aesthetic purpose or selling leather which comes from animals in the market. Similarly, zoology is linked with other applied subjects as well. For example, chemistry in this case. So chemistry and zoology is bridged through different uh, points, but I would take environmental chemistry as an example. In environmental chemistry, we evaluate chemical risk assessments. We execute experiments to assess the risk posed by different pollutants, chemicals, toxicants produced in chemistry and their safety analysis using animal models. So zoologists establish permissible limits for the concentration of these toxicants, again, different, animal, different animals. And at the same time, zoologists 
and the studies of zoologists can depict biotransformation of chemicals in various tissues of these animals and the environmental pet of these chemicals. For example, in one of my paper last year, we proposed the biotransformation and environmental pet of synthetic pyrethroids. And then we devised a pathway that how a synthetic pyrethroid uh, gets into a nerve cell and leads to intoxicating uh, consequences how it leads to neurotoxic effects, behavioral inconsistencies of fish, how it leads to cell death. Now coming into uh, the link of zoology with biomedical sciences, we all know that the understanding coming from zoology provide enormous support for animal handling. And these animals are used as model organisms in different fields of biomedical sciences. These animals include rats, mice, rabbits, fruit flies, fish, hamsters, non-human primates. Similarly, the extracts and isolates of different animals can be used in nutraceutical industries, or these can be used as it is uh, in the form of drugs, which is uh, like a uh, specific uh, work of pharmacopoeia, similarly in genetic engineering, similarly in biotechnology, in biotechnology, what we do, we are working on producing different strains of animal that are environmental stress resistance. Up, biomedical sciences. Now biomedical sciences, in biomedical sciences, we use animals as model for human pathophysiology, system biology, and anatomy. In pharmacology, we develop drug using cell, tissue, organ, or, or animal models. Here is a link to a very nice chapter uh, which tells about animal models and drug development, similarly in oncology and toxicology. In pharmacopoeia, as I told, some of the byproducts are used as medicine, but some of the byproducts are used as ingredient in medicines. For example, fish liver oil. Fish liver oil is used for covering duodenal ulcer, night blindness, skin diseases, and it is considered to be useful in cardiovascular diseases. The link down here can lead you to an article defecting nutritional and medical importance of fish. Now, this table depicts the number of animal procedures employed in Great Britain in 2018. And then this figure provides the statistics of scientific procedure on living organisms in 2018. So you can see different species, different animals employed uh, in, in biomedical or biological research. So keeping in view these numbers, anyone can predict that research in biomedical sciences and biological sciences is almost impossible without animal models. Now, for drug testing, different diseased model of animals are used. For example, at Imperial College London, a professor is using specially breed of mice for studying COVID-19, and they are studying the protective efficacy and safety of new treatments that are coming into the market for COVID-19. Similarly, for finding suitable drug candidate to treat COVID-19, different kind of animal models are used in the labs. I am talking about COVID-19 because it, it's, it's the hot uh, topic and debate of the current medical sciences. For example, different non-human primates are used as disease model for human infections. For example, macaques, different kind of macaques. The uh, vaccine developed by Oxford University, which is a weakened version of adenovirus. Keep in mind, adenoviruses cause flu and chimpanzees. So the viruses that uh, causes uh, flu and chimpanzee, the weakened version of that very specific viruses is transformed uh, as a vaccine by Oxford University. And they are doing their experiments and clinical trials on monkeys. Similarly, the Sinovac Biotech is a Chinese manufacturing company. They are testing their drugs on monkeys. I am putting in some link over here. Uh, I, I already put in here. 
So you can use these links to explore the critical role of animals in developing treatment and vaccines for COVID-19. And similarly, I'm uh, like uh, leaving behind a link which can lead you to understanding animal research. Now, coming into One World, One Health approach. We all know that One Health fosters a collaborative approach to issues that intersect human, animals, and environmental health. So the different pandemics and epidemics such as COVID-19 are dengue. These pandemics and epidemics hoist the scope of zoology because of the capability of transmission of the infection from humans to animals and from animals to humans. For example, I am providing a link here. This link will lead you to a list that list is having a number of uh, uh, animal species from US uh, and those animals were suffering from uh, SARS-CoV-2, which is COVID-19, alter alternative name for COVID-19. And then this is a CDC report in which COVID-19 is positive in pets animal. So we are having animals in every corner of one health approach. For example, Dr. Dr. Stewart is working on sheep in Australia and he is basically developing an antibody therapy against COVID-19. So this antibody will attack, will, will work against the COVID-2 spike protein. And they are developing sheep as a model organism to develop uh, this, this therapeutic antibody. So keeping in view, you can find zoology in each and every corner of biomedical sciences and biomedical research, and you can find zoology at each step of one health approach. There are certain concerns about animal models based research. For example, the heterogeneity, translation to human clinical research, concerns about three R's of animal research, which is replacement, reduction, refinement, and the inhuman approach posed by uh, animal rights uh, like educates. There are some alternative to, to animal testing. For example, in toxicity testing and drug development, organoids, which is tiny organs are used. Similarly, microphysiological systems, for example, body or organ on a chip, they are used. But keeping in view uh like their development they are still in their infancy and in near future we cannot like uh, assume biomedical research or animal model based research without animals and without the integration of zoological knowledge into these fields so zoology is highly uh, integrated into biomedical sciences and biomedical research Thank you very much for your patience. I try to put in uh, like uh, an effort to sell over this slide a bit swiftly, but I hope that you enjoyed the session. If you have any question, you are more than welcome. Thank you very much for your patience once again.